Hello guys! Kamusta kayong lahat? And welcome back dito sa May Art Life. For today's episode, I would like to try something new, um, something different from what I usually do. So, ang ginawa ko is um, I challenge myself and naghanap ako ng inspiration from another artist and titingnan ko kung kaya kong gumawa ng artwork inspired from their concept. Will I be able to pull this off? You know, kasi it's a totally different concept from what I'm used to. But well, tingnan na lang natin mamaya. Alright, so let's begin. And bago ko nga pala ikwento sa inyo yung kung saan ko nakuha tong concept na to at kung bakit siya yung napili ko, uh, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo yung mga materials na ginagamit ko usually when I draw or when I make illustrations. I'll start off with this uh, micron pen. Uh, this is by Sakura. And I only have three micron pens. Gusto ko tong micron kasi uh, matiba yung tips na. Hindi madali mag-fray. Tapos yung ink niya is waterproof. I only use uh, water-based paints or art materials like uh, watercolor, squash, and uh, watercolor pencils as well as acrylic so kailangan ko ng a uh, pen with a waterproof ink kasi kung hindi pag nabasa yung uh, outline magbablot siya or kakalat siya ang isa ko pang nagustuhan dito with micron pens is that yung pag dispense ng ink is uniform so pantay pantay lahat ng lines hindi yung may manipis or biglang merong magbablat or something right and this time naman uh, this is a mini so uh, brush pen although tong brush pen ito it's not like yung the usual brush pen na uh, uh, flexible yung nib and this is meant meant more for drawing rather than calligraphy because I tried using these for calligraphy just nag fray lang yung tip so I, I ruined some of the pens okay so um, I use this pen because of the very very light grain na ink ito yung ginagamit ko when I want to make outlines na almost invisible at madaling mapatungan ng paint alright so it's time to clean up the pencil marks and yung ginagamit kong eraser dito is a Faber-Castell na dust-free eraser. Um, there are several things na nagustuhan ko sa eraser na to. Number one, it's soft. And number two, um, malambot siyang ipambura and it doesn't damage the paper. Hindi tulad diba ng ibang eraser, eh, <laughs> pumapupudpud ni yung papel, tas punit. Ang pinakagusto ko rito is hindi siya makalat dahil habang nagbubura ka, it only forms a single eraser dust. Easy cleanup, di ba? For coloring, gagamitin natin ang uh, Tokyo Finds watercolor. And uh, oh nga pala, this, this watercolor, uh, I remember I bought this. Um, it was for my birthday kasi I always had this tradition every year na I'll buy myself something special. Parang it's a gift to myself for, you know, doing a good job for the whole year. So for this year, um, ano kayo magandang gift for myself? Um, you guys have any suggestions? Uh, just leave a comment below and let me know. And oh, pala, mabalik tayo sa Tokyo Fights. Alright, so... Kaya ito yung ginamit ko dahil um, gusto ko yung pagka-opaque nung paints na pero at the same time, it's semi-transparent. Uh, kung makikita nyo rito, even if I paint over the outlines, kitang-kita pa rin siya. So, walang problema. Solid bold colors pero um, may transparency. Yung gusto ko kasing effect na ma-achieve dito is yung parang sa mga storybooks. Kasi yun yung isa sa mga concepts ng artwork natin today. So, bagay na bagay yung pagka-opaque, flat, and um, vibrant nung Tokyo Finds para sa illustration na to. And before, um, before ko i-reveal sa inyo kung saan ang galing yung concept and ng artwork natin today, uh, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa May Art Life, uh, if you're new here, please do subscribe and show your support. 
And um, kanyo rin, i-like yun na rin yung video and share it to your friends na mahilig din sa art. Alright, and as promised, eto na, I'm gonna tell you saan ko nakuha tong concept na to. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, um, I would like to try something new. I'd like to challenge myself. So, I went through Instagram and browsed through all of the artworks na nandun yung mga pinopost ng ibang artists. Pero, one caught my attention. And that's from the user um, at JV Erudite Artist. Uh, you can check her out in Instagram. What I like about her artwork is that the concept na ginawa niya, she fused three concepts together and that would be fashion illustration, fairy tales, and floral watercolors. So that's what I'm doing today and hopefully I can give justice to this very unique concept. So, ito nga si uh, JV Erudite Artist, or I think maybe J Verudite Artist yung pagkaka-pronounce nun. Pero, um, her real name is Janice. And again, yung concept nung isa sa mga illustrations niya um, are a mixed concept. Um, again, it's a fashion design or fashion illustration with a fairy tale theme. And yung mga damit nung mga princesses or nung mga illustration niya is loose floral watercolors. Ito namang illustration ko for today aside from being inspired from a JV or J Veridite artist's concept. Meron din akong twist dito sa illustration na to. So, if you will notice, this looks like something out of a fairy tale pero ang ginawa ko dito is Meron akong pinaghalo-halong fairy tale sa illustration na to. And can you guess which ones they are before the video ends? Ang nga pala, uh, this time, if you will notice, I changed the watercolor from Tokyo Finds. And this time, prang na yung ginagamit ko. Kasi this is for the dress itself. And like I mentioned earlier, yung dress niya is loose floral watercolors. Kailangan transparent na yung watercolors na gamitin ko and Prang will do that job very well. So far, um, ang natutunan ko dito sa, uh, sa concept na to or sa illustration na to is that uh, madali, yung, ano eh, madali yung illustration ng tao, yung background. Pero yung pinaka specialty or yung pinaka concept ni J. Veridite artist is yung loose floral watercolors nung dress. Actually, um, dun din ako medyo nahihirapan kasi hindi ko alam kung paano niya kinocompose yung mga elements. Hindi ko alam uh, dapat ba malaki dito sa one side na to, tapos magkakaiba ba dapat yung sizes nung mga flowers. And uh, yung whole composition or yung pagkakaayos ng mga flowers mismo, uh, ang ginawa ko dito, balanced siya. Pero dun sa gawa ni JV Erudite or J. Veridite, yung mga loose floral watercolors niya are just scattered and magkakaiba yung sizes. And to be honest, <laughs> medyo mahirap din pala siyang gawin. I thought it would be easy kasi it's just loose floral watercolors. How hard could that be? Yung original nito, uh, pag nakita nyo, it's like parang tinubuan ng flowers yung dress. Pero uh, itong ginagawa ko parang nagmukhang floral print yung dress. So uh, I guess medyo semi-epic fail tong uh, ginawa, um, ginawa ko today. Pero I'm happy with how it came out. So it looks great. At o oh nga pala, um... We're almost at the end of the video. Uh, malapit ko na matapos yung illustration. And tulad nung tinanong ko sa inyo kanina, will you be able to guess yung mga fairy tales na ginamit ko dito sa illustration na to? Yung hint na mabibigay ko sa inyo is that uh, three to four fairy tales to. And um, kung sirit na talaga kayo at hindi nyo mahulaan or medyo 
gusto nyo malaman kung tama ba yung hula nyo, just go to the description box, scroll all the way down at makikita nyo doon yung sagot kung ano yung mga fairy tales na yan. Alright, so that's it for today's video guys and thank you so much for joining me today. Kahit na medyo epic fail yung um, experiment natin and uh, anyways, I still think it, it turned out okay. And uh, again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well and do share it to your friends na mahilig din sa art. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a great day and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone and bye for now.